Tune in to the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. As we get into August, we oftentimes are towards the end of our gardening season in many aspects, but a lot of things to consider is that this is really a good time to plant a garden, and fall gardening is actually a really good time to garden in Kansas. And there are several advantages to having a fall garden. One is those seeds that you plant at this time of year will come up almost right away. You won't have to wait for a long time like you would in the spring when the soil temperatures are a little bit cooler. A lot of times in, the, in this time of year, weed competition is lessened than it would be in the spring. Also, you'll have maybe less insect problems during this time of year than you might have early in the spring with some of those types of vegetables. And when we plant things at this time of year, we're oftentimes thinking of those cooler season vegetables. Once again, your spinach, your radishes, beets, things that will tolerate some cooler temperatures later on in the season here. Now, certainly if you have things growing in your garden currently, such as these pumpkins, these things certainly will need some more time to mature and become ready for harvesting. And your things like tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers, things like that can certainly be prolonged as long as you keep water to them and keep the pest control, um, keep those pests under control and keep those things managed. But this is the time of year if you do have some space in your garden, maybe you had some potatoes that you got rid of and harvested, you could go ahead and plant a few new things. This would be the time of year to go ahead and do that. Like I mentioned, this is a better time of year to get those things to germinate quickly. One thing that I do not recommend for planting at this time of year is deep tillage. So if you, you know, in the springtime got that garden bed ready with some deep tilling and then prepared the seed bed that way, that's one thing that you shouldn't have to do at this time of year. Just slightly clear off that area, make a shallow or excuse me, just kind of rake up that area and then go ahead and plant those seeds just a little bit deeper than you would have in the springtime. This way you'll have some cooler temperature and also maybe a little bit more moisture at that deeper depth. If you have questions about fall gardening or maybe what types of vegetables would be more suitable for, for excuse me, for fall gardening in Kansas, the Extension Office has this really nice Kansas garden guide that's available either at the Extension Office for sale or you can find it on our website for free. And it gives you all sorts of information about basic gardening practices as far as soil preparation to planting and watering and harvesting and storage of those vegetables as we get into some of these things here of harvesting pumpkins and squash in the next month or so. If you have any other questions about gardening in Kansas, please contact your local Extension Office for more information. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension, Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ells County Horticulture Extension Agent. Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing. Brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.